where your cat's merch can be pretty hit or miss. Sometimes they release good products, and other times they release pencils. Not all merch they release is going to be good though, and we're often met with some interesting products. Nowadays, they release new minifigs and plushies every couple of months, with the occasional unconventional product like this puzzle or Brightheart mug, which I love by the way, especially the little ears that will definitely poke your eyes out if you try to drink from it. The merchandise has a clear vision and style to it, with the minifig and plush assets being used across different items, such as this pencil case, drawstring, and t-shirt set. However, the merchandise wasn't always as polished. You see, since the launch of the online shop in 2019, the Warrior Cats team has released a large variety of Warrior-themed products. At first, there were things like bookmarks, which is understandable since this is a book series after all, but the merch team has decided to throw pretty much everything on the website and see what stuck. Like for instance, this RiverClan beach towel, with the style and color of not available size medium. I can definitely see what they were going for here with the link between RiverClan and water, but who is buying this? I know the title of this video is about discontinued items, and this one is still on the website, but I feel like there needs to be a quick segment highlighting their odd choices for merch. Like my all-time favorite item in the shop, the Jayfeather Compact Mirror. Let that sink in. This is the only mirror they have listed on the website, by the way, and they chose to have the blind character on the front. It's like the site all over again. But why own a simple mirror when you can own Jayfeather's decapitated head? That's right, these mini plush heads are officially licensed Warriors merch. Long before the era of the large, sometimes controversial cat-like plushies, the Warrior Cats team released these giant mini heads. With little paws. Yeah. Despite their stress ball-like appearance, these little plush were made with a bean filling, and were meant to be stacked on top of each other. However, they are not really stackable, which makes sense given the fact that they're spherical. There were six different flavors released in two different series. The first series had Firestar, Blue Star, and Tiger Star, while the second series had Jayfeather, Grey Stripe, and Misty Star. The timing of their release was kind of odd, as the Warriors team had just announced the first batch of the full-size plushies. And while there were only two cats announced at the time, Jayfeather and Grey Stripe, the team had ended the announcement teasing additional full-size plushies, set to release in December. The mini plush announcement came right after the announcement of the full-size plushies, and even mentioned them within the first two sentences. Three cats were chosen to have these plush heads, Blue Star, Tiger Star, and Fire Star, and at the time were all different cats than the full-size plush announced. But I mean, everyone kind of knew Fire Star was going to be in the first wave of full-size plush, it's Firestar. They included a small picture of Blue Star's prototype and ended off the announcement by stating that these were to be released in October, less than two months away from the full-size plush. So if a kid wanted a Warrior Cats plush, the parents would more likely be buying the bigger, fluffier, less horrifying version than a head, with little paws. It was just an odd decision to announce these way better looking full-size plush than drop these McDonald's Happy Meal looking toys. The fans didn't like how the plush heads looked as well. Many of the fans even stated that they would rather spend their money on the full body versions than these weird plush heads. The heads really just looked odd and out of place. I can't speak for the quality of these mini head plush, but the decision to have no body, no neck, just four little feet was strange. But if they just added a little tail, I think the design would have been so much better. The choices for the characters made sense though. They were all very popular and well-loved characters. Well, except for Misty Star. Nowadays, she's kind of a meme, but this was released right around ABOS, and during the first book of The Broken Code, when she was probably at her all-time lowest popularity. I'm gonna guess it was like an early Blue Star prototype, and they said, well, we have it, might as well sell it. Since we now have the Fire Star, Blue Star, Jayfeather, and Grey Stripe plush, let's compare these mini plush heads to their full body counterparts. While they're not exact replicas, they're very similar. The mini plush heads have a different, more stoic muzzle, while the plushies seem to be smiling. Even Jayfeather. The noses are also huge compared to the rest of the cat. The mini plush heads seem to be made with a plush fabric, with the markings printed directly onto the plush. Meanwhile, the full-size plushies have a longer, softer fur. The heads also have this lank look in their eyes, like almost dead looking. The full-size plush have this little highlight in the eye, however, the heads don't. Again, just a small detail that could have been added that would have made them so much more appealing. The first round of the full-size plush had the markings airbrushed on, and actually caused the cats to lose their markings. After complaints, they changed the way that the plushies were manufactured, so this will no longer happen. We'll never be haunted by bald jay feather again. And while we're here, we might as well look at how the first gen of the full-size plush are different from the second wave, since technically they are discontinued. Firestar, Graystripe, and Jayfeather were the first three cats released, and each have a different Series 1 look. To put it plainly, the plush look a lot less polished. The eyes are farther apart and they don't seem to align very well. 
The muscles are also completely different in both shape and markings. The nose of the Series 2 is more defined and has more added detail. The same goes for the little whisker markings and the cat's smile. The markings are way different, thanks to the new technique, and their fur looks a lot fluffier and nice to touch. The clan embroidery on the paw looks different too. Overall, their first wave looked very scrunkly. You can tell they took some user feedback from the first wave and tried to adapt it into the way the newer plushies were being designed. The first gen plushies also had this little character art on the tag, but after their revamp, they swapped it to a name tag. Honestly, I prefer the art over the name tag and I wish they would have kept that instead of their new design, but if that's the trade-off for a better looking plush, I guess it's worth it. There's also another version of the plush, the AliExpress version. I felt like I had to include this if I was talking about the plush. While I was researching for this video, I kept getting ads for Jayfeather from AliExpress. For only $20 more than the official listing, plus shipping, you could own your own bootleg Jayfeather. And there's not only one listing, but two. And as I was editing this video, a listing for a ThunderClan cat and a uh, holly leaf huh? was also posted. If you're in the market for a previously loved Warrior Cats plush, make sure you're not buying a bootleg plushie from eBay and Etsy. Alright, enough about these plushies. Let's move on to some more discontinued items. For instance, shirts and hoodies. One of the first lines of shirts released on their website was the Clan Collection. The Clan Collection featured each clan's logo plastered onto a shirt or a sweatshirt. It was really a simple design, but nothing outstanding. They used the same logo for cushions, mugs, phone cases, book bags, and tote bags, all of which are also discontinued. There's also this hoodie with the four clans plus star clan on it. While you can still buy the individual clans, they stopped producing shirts with multiple clans on it. The next line of discontinued shirts are actually a bit of lost media. During the beginning of the Broken Code arc, the website featured a new Broken Code collection. The collection consisted of two different style shirts, a hoodie, a phone case, and a magnet. I couldn't find a single picture of any of these products anywhere on the internet, so if anyone owns one of these, or has a photo, let me know in the comments because I want to see it. You might have noticed there is also a book and bookmark combo in the Broken Code collection as well. However, while it technically is in the Broken Code collection, this was just a promotion they would do with newly released books. If you pre-ordered a book from the website, they would give you one of these clan bookmarks free with your purchase. They eventually discontinued this promotion a few books later. The final t-shirt is this Ravenpaw shirt. It was a limited edition sale item as a reference to a very short-lived TikTok trend. The stock asset goal just gets me every time. Another category of discontinued merch are tote bags. Surprisingly, this is one of the largest collections of old merch, starting with the same logos used for the original clan collection, featuring all of the clans except SkyClan. During the first few months of the shop, SkyClan was widely neglected and didn't have a lot of merch, often being left out of merch featuring all of the clans. The spiritual successors to the clan collection totes were the etching collection, harboring a more artistic flair to the clan symbols. They're meant to give more personality to each clan, but really they're just giving Walmart wolf shirt vibes. The final line of tote bags released are the epic tote bags. And yes, they're called epic tote bags. The graphics on the tote bag are actually a really nice quality, and somewhat remind me of like a movie poster. The only issue is the size. It seems like the team also recognized this, and re-released these tote bags with the graphics fitting the face of the bag instead of just printed on leaving a ton of blank space. They also had a line of back to school items, starting with these clan creed bags, featuring each clan, well, all but Sky Clan. The same design is seen on these bookmarks, this mug, and hoodie. SkyClan was later given their own design, however it was still left out of this line and was only made into a shirt and tote bag. The final item of the back to school collection was this pencil case, pencil, and mini notebook bundle. And speaking of notebooks, there was also a small line of them. They released only two different full art clan A5 notebooks, ThunderClan and RiverClan. The RiverClan notebook is still available for purchase, but the ThunderClan version has been discontinued. They also released a very basic line of notebooks claiming to be from the other clans. The second to last discontinued product I'll talk about is jewelry. This is a relatively small line, featuring only two products, a necklace and a charm bracelet. The charm bracelet has all six clans, yes Sky Clan was included, all in the Art Deco style that's also seen on these pins. The necklace was a larger version of the Art Deco charm, this time just of Thunder Clan and on a longer chain. They didn't release any other necklaces with this style. The final line of discontinued merch on the Warriors website are these official Warrior Cat keychain figures. Different from the flat, rubbery ones currently for sale in the store, these keychains were miniature figures of the cats themselves. Only three keychains were ever released, Firestar, Greywing, and Misty Star. While Misty Star and Firestar both had very minimal designs, the Greywing keychain actually had stars and constellations on his pelt. 
Another cute detail is the clan symbol on each of the cat's bellies. Grey Wings is Star Clan instead of Wing Clan. And you may be asking yourself, who would buy one of these? Well, the answer is me. Yeah, I bought one of these keychains, and of the three cats, I chose my favorite one. Missy Star. Despite how they look in the picture, they're actually a decent size, and probably a lot bigger than you might expect. However, the quality is questionable. Yeah. Looking at the figures, they lean more towards AliExpress than a figure from a multi-million dollar franchise. The paint job is choppy, Firestar has receding tabby lines, Misty Star has green markings for some reason, and their eyes are just… ugh. Unsurprisingly, these mini keychain figures were not popular at all. It took a lot of digging to find some more pictures of them online. In fact, I even found what I believe is their manufacturer before finding any of these clips on YouTube or TikTok. I actually really like these little keychains and I wish they had followed this design more than what they had actually done. They ended up releasing only one series of these minifigures before quietly taking them off the store. You can still find them by searching their name, but they're unavailable to be purchased. Okay, I know I said that these mini keychains were the last thing I was going to talk about. But there is one more thing. As I had previously mentioned, the website updated in 2019, and with that, the launch of their new online shop. The old website had no online storefront and no way of purchasing any goods, but I did some digging. I searched through all the tabs on the old website, and after clicking on the Games and Extras tab, I noticed something at the very bottom. Hidden under a How to Draw Graystripe video was a clan t-shirt. Of course I had to make my own. After getting some adult supervision, I followed the basic instructions and made the shirt. Okay, so I'm reading the instructions on how to do this, and I realized I messed up. So, anybody notice what's wrong with this photo? Yeah, it's backwards. Apparently, I'm supposed to have it facing the right way that it, it's meant to be, but on the website, they have it backwards. Of course, I had to do ThunderClan, because it's the best clan. Even though I'm the one making the t-shirt, this is still considered merch. After all, this is a freebie given by the website in order for you to make your own merchandise. Since the old website is only accessible through the web archive, I'll be leaving a link in the description if you want to make your own. And there we have it, the oldest, first ever released Warrior Cats merch. I hope you have all enjoyed this dive into the old and discontinued merchandise from the Warriors website. If you have any of these pieces that are now discontinued, let me know in the comments, especially the keychain or the broken code collection. Be sure to subscribe if you haven't already as it's free and it helps my channel out. Anyways, thank you all and have a good one.